How's it going guys? Today, we'll be taking a look at using LG's 29-inch ultra-wide monitor for content creation, mainly for video editing on Premiere Pro, photo editing on Lightroom and Photoshop, and other content creation tools. Hi, my name is Ken and welcome back to the channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography, iPad Pro related content and tech. If any of this piques your interest, consider subscribing to the channel as you may learn a thing or two from these videos. Here are all the topics that we'll be discussing today. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Let's dive right in. In case you have yet to check out my other videos about the LG 29WK600 Ultra Wide Monitor, from the unboxing to the 3 months review and onto some specific everyday tasks using the Ultra Wide Monitor, I'll leave a drop down card on the right hand side for you to check it out later. And with that out of the way, let's dive right in. Using the LG 29 inch Ultra Wide Monitor for content creation is simply amazing just because of the 21 by 9 Ultra Wide aspect ratio. You get more screen space, which actually means a lot, especially for video editors. Let me explain why. Here I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro and I like that I get to have a wider view of my entire timeline when editing video. So with the ultra wide monitor, you get a decent window for previewing your clip and you have more room to organize each panel where it sits and you can actually build your own workspace knowing that you have a timeline at the bottom and you'll be able to easily scrub through and have an overview of your entire project thanks to the ultra wide monitor. This can be helpful in case you want to know the overall progress of your entire project. There are a couple of workspaces that I'm actually alternating in between. One is which you are looking at right now. At times, I like to have this other workspace where it shows more vertical space due to all the layers that are in the project. And displaying them vertically as well gives me more control on the timeline. Each workspace to its own, you can use whichever workspace that suits you the best. Moving on to the photo editing side of things, the 99% sRGB color accuracy from the LG 29 inch ultra wide monitor also plays a major role for photographers looking into getting accurate color representation on a monitor. The monitor comes factory color calibrated. There's a video where it's hidden from the technologyman.com actually tested out the color accuracy of this monitor, resulting at a 97.4% sRGB color. Link in the description box if you're keen to find out more about that particular video. But for me, the colors coming from the monitor is rather accurate. Be sure to set the monitor on a neutral color temperature in order to be able to edit photos with more color accurate precision. Again, the ultra wide aspect ratio of this monitor during photo editing allows for before and after shots being placed side by side when previewing. This could be pretty handy if you're wanting to match color theme and you need a reference of a color palette to set the tone. So you would easily have a lot of space on the left and right. And all in all, this LG 29 inch ultra wide monitor works for me in terms of overall content creation. But if you're a professional colorist, I would suggest you look elsewhere at the BenQ SW321C photo view that offers 4K resolution, 99% A2B RGB, 95% P3 gamut, and 100% sRGB. Or the LG Ultrafine 24MD 4KLB that offers 4K resolution, full P3 wide color gamut all in which covers a wider spectrum of colors but at a way higher price point. And that is all I have for you guys in this video, hope you all find this insightful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment down below, I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you all so so much for watching, as always I will see you all very very soon. Stay safe, peace out and bye bye.